sir good morning so what is the name i am rashia sir rashia okay so can i have your resume yes. so okay rashia so introduce yourself i am rashia i was born and brought up in anantapur andhra pradesh and i completed my graduation in civil engineering i have i complete and i got percentage of 7.4 cgpa my skills are i have a civil engineering students i have a basic skills in autocad and stat pro and now i am pursuing python full stack and my hobbies are drawing painting and listening to music and learning new things um, my achievements are i i have a certification in science projects in the school golden jubilee function and my long term goal is to get placed in a good company and be in a reputed position class okay. here okay so can i say you one one word yes, so somewhat below okay 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 then uh, so as you are civil engineer student right yes. so then why it means the growth in the civil engineering industry is not that much okay. so for the growth purpose or for our career and so you have to Okay, that means uh, uh, how can you manage that? It's, uh, it's completely of uh, two different ways. Yes. So civil engineering means definitely it is okay. So as I was a civil engineer too, so but I have shifted to it. But I know how hard it is to shift from that uh, kind of domain to this thing because there is no uh, any uh, any not even as one percent of so like what common things is there. Then. Yes. Completely different paths of different directions. So uh, how how would you handle coming to the ship or move to the IT industry? as i did a two months uh, internship like python programming so i am here to do full full career project like right? yeah, okay so in that internship so you, you thought of you can drive it easily yes. okay good so like uh, so okay uh, i can i wanted to ask you so how good are you in python programming about of out of five so rate yourself 3.5 3.5 which is good score that means you are well in python as i am learning now okay even though so learning means you yeah, already have completed some of the part yes. i think so okay so well that's you can say so up to that level so you are 3.5 okay i can ask you very hard questions okay good okay so then um, so what are taking uh, please uh, spell me one more time what are the technical skills autocad basic skills no, no, about the technical it is it it is html css and python okay definitely it have you learned about the database any database so it is uh, like uh, it is necessary so you need to learn about any one in any other okay it may be an or regular pls skill or okay, my sql so sir okay i will say i will just my suggestion so learn some database it will help you okay so can i go with my intro in python okay so first of all introduce about uh, sorry uh, introduce like uh, about the features of python it is a scripting language and it is a dynamic language high level language and it supports oops concept open source the language which can be used in like python or etc okay that's it okay so what is platform independent you know anything about it no Okay, so it's a basic for any programming, not only for Python. So platform independent means so uh, like all the programming languages, they are irrespective of their OS. So you can use, you can write a code in uh, Windows, you can run the same code in uh, Mac, I mean iOS. Or you can run the same thing in uh, like a uh, Linux. Too. Okay, so it's called what you can call it called uh, platform independent. Okay, so you said about uh, uh, it is dynamic programming. Why Python is dynamic programming? As it is a scripting language, but Execution engine for Python language is scripting language. Interpreter. Interpreter. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, it was scripting language. So it's uh, like uh, it is uh, having the heritage of our uh, dynamic programming. Okay. So then uh, explain me about the Python comments. Python. Comments. Uh, so somewhat please louder. It is used to muting of uh, muting of the. Uh, declaration part of quotes okay. um, it can be two types uh, single type comment and multi type comment single type comment can be declared by hash symbol and uh, multi line comments can be declared by the uh, triple single quotes and triple double quotes 
around the code. Okay. Okay. So why triple double code? Uh, triple, I mean, uh, triple double codes are used. I mean, sir, to take more number of lines of logic for muting them. So can't we make it in the help of hash? Hash. It takes only single uh, declaration, single line formats. So we can, can we make or not? No. Can we make the lines of logic mutable from n number of lines of logic mutable with the help of hash? No, sir. Why? Why no? So in every line, uh, in the starting of every line, I can place a hash, hash and it will get immutable. No, it is get mutable. Get, uh, to get more um, for the, easy for, purpose. Okay, for the user friendly purpose. That's what uh, you need to spell. Okay. Okay, good. So uh, like. Uh, I think um, so. Uh, you were trying to spell it, spell uh, spell you some statement that uh, there are some uh, four pillars for any programming language. So what is that? I've not even heard about this thing. Okay. So then, what is Python tokens? Keywords, identifiers, data types, operators. How many of them? How many are there? Operators. Four. 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 So four means four pillars. Okay, for every programming language, tokens are the four pillars. Okay. So why four pillars? Because of without of using any of those things, we cannot build any program. Okay, we cannot uh, like so build any program. I can cannot write any program. Okay, then uh, what is identifiers? Identifiers are user defined words which are used for calling or accessing of the function. Okay. So only function. What is the variable? Variable. Variables are the. Declare the part. Declare the. Be louder and be confident, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay then. Okay, leave it. Okay, don't distress it. Okay then. Um. Uh, yeah, you said function. Then what is the function? is a block of code uh, block of code of declaration of lines of logic and uh, execution of function and is and it is uh, called with the function name written in the declaration part. Yes. Okay. So uh, how many types of functions are there? Four types. User defined functions, predefined function, lambda function, recursion function. Okay. Then, uh, can you explain me about the lambda function? Lambda functions are used as the, you can be used by the return function. Return functions which can be written inside the print statement. Okay. So, it's not a cut answer. Lambda functions are anonymous functions. So, we can declare any number of uh, uh, like arguments, but we should write only one uh, logic. Okay, it was declared in a single line, it was called in the single line. That's in the, in the, whenever, whenever you want to deal with the lambda function, it will be executed within, it will be completed, the task will be completed in the two lines. One is for declaration, one is for execution. That's it. Good. Okay, no, no problem. So, like, uh, so have you know anything about the control structures? Yes, sir. So, explain me about the control structures. Control structures are two types conditional statements and looping statements. Conditional statements are uh, means. Conditional statements are declare, declared, and when it is when it gets the true output, it will show the single output. And looping statements are when it it is looped up by the declaration part, it gets iterated n number of times until the condition gets failed. So, which kind of company depend upon the like uh, conditions? Okay, good. Okay then, uh, so I have asked you about the identifiers, right? Yes. So for declaring of identifiers, so uh, we need to follow some rules and regulations. Yes. So can you explain me about the rules? Yes. Names should start with the uh, alphabet or underscore. It should not be used with uh, uh, special characters or numbers. And no spaces should be taken in the middle. If needed, underscores can be used. Uh, Next, uh, keywords should not be used. We can use keywords by placing them with another character or anything. Uh, it is also an alphanumeric character, uh, but 
in alphanumeric numbers should not be placed in the first only alphabets or underscore should be used yes okay good so you said about keywords yes sir. so what are keywords keywords uh, means predefined words mm, which, uh, like examples and is not break continuous okay. import input okay okay good okay then uh, so like uh, uh, so have you noticed anything, anything about the type of data we are having python yes sir so explain me about those things uh, data types are five types uh, number data types sequential data types sets dictionaries and boolean in the number data types there are three types uh, one is integer float compl complex so that i the type cast operator for integer is int and the float for float is float complex is complex and the sequential data types are the three types uh, strings list tuple mm, uh, and the sets boolean and dictionaries so you said uh, like uh, some type cast or something type cast operators then what is what is type cast first of all conversion of uh, data type different type ड the properties of set is it is mutable and it, uh, it is uh, unindexed it is unordered and fixed it does not support duplicates okay so what is a uh, mutable means uh, means adding or replacing of the elements okay so manipulation yes. does it attach to manipulations yes sir yes so why sets are in uh, unindexed we cannot take um, values as it is an unordered just because it is unordered so it doesn't yeah. support like indexing okay like last year right yes. okay good last year so okay uh, so you have spelled all the correct answers okay so like uh, i was done with my part okay i was some completely good, uh, good with your presentations so it's uh, comfortable with your uh, answers and all okay so i think i was done with my part so are you having any questions no so but one word uh, i can suggest you so be confident be loud that's it like let's say okay uh, all the best have a nice day